So as y'all can tell by the title, the girls are gonna be angry. <laughs> Unpopular opinion, I'm not a wife. Yet. I'm wifey material. Stop giving yourself unrealistic expectations and then being mad when they don't come true. And how can you put a mansion on popsicle sticks? Cause bitch, I'm mansion material. I need to build my foundation with concrete. I was building my shit with popsicle sticks and Play-Doh. One main thing that I'm going to be doing in 2022 is being single. I've chosen to take on the journey of abstinence. That's the word of 2022, me. I want to wind it down myself. I want to cater to myself. I want to give myself those things. <laughs> What's up, nation? It's your girl, Lala Risha Tane, whichever you want to say. And I am back with another video. And today, your girl got a mukbang, as y'all can tell by the title. So, your girl got... Your girl got Chick-fil-A. And I also, on my way to Chick-fil-A, stopped and got um some ice creams from Freddy's. Some ice creams? some ice cream from Freddy's because um I don't know if y'all know that place I don't know if they have that there but um cuz I didn't want a milkshake like I wanted ice cream I really wanted McDonald's Oreo McFlurry and I stopped there first but um the ice cream machine was down so they didn't want to clean it fucking ugh. first of all if you're new here and y'all want to join a nation and I don't understand why you wouldn't want to because I mean hello um make sure y'all like comment share and subscribe turn on your post notification you'll be notified every time I upload a video and remember y'all we on the road to 5,000 subscribers and when we get there I will be doing a $200 cash app giveaway $200 for winners $50 each you don't want to miss it so um done a chick-fil-a mukbang on my channel before but if y'all don't know my order i get a um hold on period i get a spicy chicken sandwich no pickles because i like pickles but not on my sandwiches like i don't like pickles on my food that's nasty um but i like pickles and i get you know the fry obviously Look like they was stingy with the salt today. That's sad. Um, barbecue sauce, because if y'all don't know, I don't like any condiments besides barbecue sauce. Like, I hate them. I don't like dressing. I don't like dip. Like, I'm uh, dressing as in, like, salad dressing. Well, dressing as in Thanksgiving, too, but that's another topic. Um, yeah, I don't like none of that shit. Um, uh, can't stand it. So, money falling out of my pocket. I um like to split my sandwich in half. Okay, I'm gonna eat this half first. <laughs> I like to split my sandwich in half. I don't like to bite straight into the sandwich. I don't know why. And I got a fruit punch, but it tastes a little watery. But I shouldn't be drinking anything sugary right now anyway. But for the sake of the mukbang, I said why not. So as y'all can tell by the title, the girls are gonna be angry. <laughs> The girls are gonna be angry. I'm doing an unpopular opinion today. I'm gonna I'm doing an unpopular opinion today because um this post was going around on Instagram yesterday. Let me show it to y'all real quick before I start eating. This post was going around on Instagram yesterday that read, I'm a whole wife, not a girlfriend, not a boo, not a babe, wifey. You hear me? This is the said post in question. Now I said the girls are gonna be angry today because unpopular opinion, I'm not a wife. Yet. I'm wifey material. So, and baby, I'm doing all this talking, but I literally just learned this like a couple weeks ago. Like I literally just learned this shit a couple weeks ago. Not I just learned it, cause I really, it's one of the things that I've been new or been new about but you still just be so caught up in certain like you be caught up that you just don't care that you know like you don't care that you know better you just do you know what i'm saying so um hold on because y'all it's 316 this is my first time eating today
And I honestly need to stop doing that. But I'm working on it. Anyway, so. Unpopular opinion. I'm wife material. Not a wife yet. And I'm going to tell y'all why I say that. And mainly because this not for everybody that was reposting it. Clearly, because some people are in a more um, mature sp uh, level or spot in their life than I am as far as like age or literally just personality wise or whatever like they genuinely are a wife but my thing is I'm 21 I'm not a wife yet even age aside like I know that I have so many more things that I have to learn so many more did I say that right I had I, I don't know if I said that I don't know if that was proper English or not but there are so many more things that I have to learn or like develop within myself to be wifey material. And I'm going to tell y'all why I said I just learned this two weeks ago. Because I'm the type of person, I know what I want in life. I know what I, I know what I, I know what I want from my man as far as like, um, my love languages and stuff like that. Like, I know what I need to be, I know what I need to be happy or feel fulfilled in a relationship but at the same time i have a bad habit of like when i'm talking to somebody or whatever the case may be i be trying to because you teach somebody how to love you for sure like you teach somebody or you show somebody how to love you like as far as teaching them what your love languages are teaching them showing them the things that you that make you happy and stuff like that let me not forget i'm eating but you teach them all that stuff. And it's like, I have a bad habit of rushing the person that I'm talking to in a relationship with or whatever um, into being, uh, be, trying to put him into the role of what I would want him to be if he was my husband. Because I'd be thinking like, like when I, I date to marry, like I'm not talking to somebody if I feel like I don't have a future with you. Crazy enough all the people that I talk to and I'm not talking to now it's like damn I thought I had a future with all of y'all but I really did like I at the time I envisioned myself being able to you see what I'm saying like I date to marry so I get distracted sometimes in the future or uh, in thinking of the future and I'll start rushing my partner into trying to instead of trying to mold him into being like now, I don't want to mold hat like that's it seems so bad, but that's that is how it is. Like you really do be you do really do mold him into being the man that you want him to be for you. Like, cause obviously he'll come to you being well, not all of them, but but like they'll come to you being a man, like being a good human being, but you mold them into being the man that you want him to be, or like he learns or molds himself into being the man that you need. Basically. So it's like I had a bad habit of trying to mold him into being my hut, like, or trying to mold, like, I have a bad habit of trying to, I'd be like, okay, like, we married, like, if we dating, we married, like, okay, this my husband or whatever, but he not my husband, he my boyfriend, he really not my husband, he my boyfriend, and that's okay, like, it's okay to take your time, like, yeah, he might be my husband one day, but today he my boyfriend, right now he my boyfriend, and it's like, baby, it was almost a wreck. And it's like, when I say I'm wife material and um and not a wife yet, it's because I haven't, I don't have all of the attributes that I need in order to be a wife. And I also can't expect, and this is what I learned two weeks ago, I can't expect, I can't be trying to mold but I can't be trying to tell him this is what I want, this is what I need, or whatever with the woo. Um, how do I put this into words? I can't I can't be trying to tell him this is what I want, this is what I need, or whatever with the woo, and trying to make him to be the 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 man that I need him to be, and I ain't the woman that I need yet. You see what I'm saying? Like I haven't became that wife yet. I haven't became that woman yet. So how can I expect him? to be that man or that husband yet like you see what i'm saying 
it honestly might not even be that serious like i may be taking it more literal than what people are posting but it genuinely do because i feel like even it can even sometimes be detriment not necessarily detrimental but that, that's just a word i've been using a lot lately but sometimes it can affect your relationship when like y'all a boyfriend and girlfriend and you like oh this is my husband this is my this is my wife like or whatever we're married because y'all really not at that level yet like don't rush the relationship or be trying to force somebody into a position that they aren't ready for yet or even forcing yourself into a position that you aren't ready for yet i.e i'm wife material not a wife yet because it's like i have the potential to be a wife i have the material to be a wife right now i if you look at me and you see how i move how i carry myself you can look and say oh she's gonna be a bomb ass wife and mother one day but i'm not a bomb ass wife and mother right now like i'm not a bomb ass wife right now it'll get there because as i continue to grow and to develop into the woman that i'm submit to be the wife role the wife um not necessarily roles baby because let's not get into the feminism shit lord but like the wife attributes that come with that are going to come with that like But people don't even be realizing the type of pressure they put on themselves when they when they be saying when they be calling their boyfriend husband or they be calling themselves wife and shit like that. I would rather be like this gonna be my husband one day, y'all. Like I'd rather be like this gonna be my husband one day. This gonna be my um This gonna be my wife one day. Cause I will be one day. I will be one day. I'm not right now. And that's okay. And I had to learn that for myself and I had to teach myself. Baby, cause you didn't even have to blow your horn like that. You could have just slowed down. People so disrespectful. But like, I had to really teach myself to slow down. And give people a chance. Stop giving yourself unrealistic expectations and then being mad when they don't come true. Self accountability. Self accountability is everything. And I really do have a habit of I'll set an expectation for myself. Like when I make my vision board. This year I be, I was better at it, 100%. But like last year, although yes they are attainable the things that i a, a few of the things uh everything i put on my vision board was attainable but there were things that i put on my vision board knowing like in the back of my head i knew that i didn't either didn't even want to do it for real or like it was already in my head that like like i was already apprehensive about it or something like some along them lines but i put it on my vision board anyway thinking i'd be able to push myself to do it and it's like they didn't come true like they didn't happen and it's because i was it wasn't supposed to like i already knew i wasn't gonna do it but i was trying to use the vision board as a reason for me to you see what i'm saying like trying to force myself into a position that i wasn't ready for like that i didn't want like everything always just comes full circle i had to catch myself i had almost reposted the video i mean the um the post onto my story and then I stopped myself and realized like damn I'm just a girlfriend and that's not a bad thing like that's not a bad thing at all and people be mistaken thinking that like girlfriend and wife are the same thing and they not now I will say no cause I'll even say like I used to think that like a wife got more than a girlfriend or like no 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 I used to think that like they're not that, that there wasn't much difference into like how they should be treated or what they should expect from their partner or whatever whoop de woo but it hit me that like there's different there's different levels of what you should expect from your partner in the difference of just being in a relationship boyfriend and girlfriend and being married husband and wife because it's like yes and not to say that like you're not supposed to get the full of your partner just because you only a girlfriend it's the fact of like you're supposed to get the full of your partner as he being your boyfriend 
and then you get the fool of your partner as in him being your husband like there's different levels to it why would you be expecting your hu your boyfriend to be doing husband things and he just a boyfriend why would you be expecting your wife to do what i mean your girlfriend to do wife things when he just when she just a girlfriend like now I am, i'm not to the level of understanding yet what's the difference in between like literally like what does a wife do in comparison to what does a girlfriend do i don't think i'm there yet and that's okay too but i really do understand that there are different levels and i think that's probably the first step and then as i'm continuing you know and i really get into a because i've been in relationships and i've been in heavy relationships but i don't think that i've I, like i wasn't at a level of understanding that i'm at now to like fully be grasping and understanding what's happening in the relationship so i think now that i'm at a better understanding i might understand the relationship more as well well i know i will in my next relationship now that i'm not rushing myself i think i'll be able to learn more about the roles of like a girlfriend and the roles of a wife and stuff like that but i do feel like they're very different because I mean a wife like y'all living in the same house y'all splitting bills but you could be living in the same house as a girlfriend too though so i'm not gonna just knock that because i am the type of person that like the way the way i am like the way my life go i'd probably be living with my significant other before we got married more than likely like I, i'd probably be living with my significant other before we got married i i think like i well, i'm not gonna even say that i probably would be i'm gonna say that like i wouldn't be against it like we don't have to be married to live together that that's just me that's just my personal opinion though like i i don't have we don't have to be married to, to live together i don't like i'm not i don't put that much on that but i i really because it's like dang if y'all living together as a girlfriend and boyfriend like what's the difference because it's like what what i don't know but i really do feel like there's a difference though like some telling me there's a difference i just haven't learned it yet and that's okay like i just don't know when i know i'll tell y'all because <laughs> i really don't know like i really don't like this is the slowest i've ever eaten because one thing about larisha i eat fast as hell be slaughtering my food i like my food to be hot because this food didn't really got to look cool but I'm gonna keep eating it though. But um Y'all hear how fast that car was going? So unnecessary. Especially on a busy ass road like this. If he treating you like a wife, then you might as well be a wife. And then when you say y'all ain't ready for to be white, husband and wife, okay, so then be girlfriend and boyfriend and just shut the fuck up. Like just shut up. Be girlfriend and boyfriend and shut up. Now to the people that don't want to get married, I don't know how that works. I don't know i don't know i don't know how i guess it's one of them things where just like you get to you get to a certain point in your relationship where it's just like y'all are content to where y'all at and that work for y'all but i've always envisioned myself with it like i'm not gonna say with a family because you cannot get married and still have a family so i've all but i what i'm saying is i've always envisioned myself with like husband and kids type family so i don't really know how the nun I'm not gonna even say non-traditional the non-married like aspect of it will work well i think i think some of it still stands because there really are stages to a relationship although i'm a firm believer in like time doesn't necessarily matter in terms of like there isn't a time limit on how fast you can fall for somebody there isn't a time limit on like when you know that you in love with somebody or when you know you love somebody or when you feel like that person is for you or whatever i hate putting time limits on stuff like that where how people be like bitches only been a month how can you say you love this person like you really never know how you feel about somebody like you never know how serious how deep that connection is with that person so i've just never been one i ain't eat that ice cream at all that was such a waste um i've just never been a person to like to put a time limit on stuff like that but i do think stages of relationships are important and because i 
didn't put a time limit because I don't put a time limit on like love and stuff I got it confused with like uh rushing through stages of relationships because that's what I normally do like I normally rush through stages of relationships I don't take the time out because just because you know that you how strongly you feel about somebody doesn't mean that it's just like oh y'all ready it's time now like boom let's go into it and I think that'd be my problem because I know how I feel about you. I feel like, okay, so now it's time to be together. Like, I know how I feel about you, so why are we not together? And that's always been my problem. But it ain't supposed to, like, I ain't gonna say it ain't supposed to be like that. But, like, that really, it don't have to be like that at all. Like, you can know how you feel about somebody, love that person, be in love with that person, and all of that shit. And then y'all still work towards learn each other go through the talking stage go through the dating stage go through the inner relationship stage go through the fiance stage go through the marriage stage and i think when you take the time out to build that foundation with that person regardless of if y'all know how y'all felt regardless of if y'all know how y'all feel about each other while you're building the foundation i think building the foundation is still so important and i think in the past i was building my foundation with popsicle sticks and how can you put a mansion on popsicle sticks? Because, bitch, I'm mansion material. So, it's like, how can you put a mansion on um, popsicle sticks? Like, bitch, I want my... I want. I need to build I need to build my foundation with concrete. Motherfucking bricks and mortar. <laughs> like, I was building my shit with popsicle sticks and Play-Doh. But, um... Yeah, that's really all I had to talk about. Let me turn my lights on. That's really all I had to talk about, y'all, because, like, I just had to let out my unpopular opinion. And like I said, this is my opinion. I mean, if you don't agree with it, that's on you. But I will say, if you don't agree with it and you're a girlfriend trying to pretend to be a wife, not that there's anything wrong with that but i just would like to i just would say let's just all do a little self-reflection and this is vice versa but bitch my target audience is women so i'm talking to the girls um i just thought i, I just would say let's do a little self-reflection and let's pay attention to like if you really think about well if i really think about it sometimes i'm not gonna say a lot of them or even all of them but there have been a few arguments that I've had with a significant other that have been because I was trying to get him to do things that were outside of his title. Like that, that they were a little bit more than what his title required. And then I've had, I've even had a relationship. I've had a, I've had a relationship where they were willing to make those changes, made those changes. And then I started to feel I wasn't ready for them. Like I thought I was when I was asking for them. See, this is the crazy part. Oh, he just fucked me up. I thought I was, I thought I was ready for them when I was asking for them, but then he made those change. Oh my God, it's these people that keep turning out of Chick-fil-A that's messing me up. Moo, moo. Because if it's one thing I can do, I'm going to have a nation back. But yeah, like I was saying, I've even had a relationship where like I asked for those changes. He was willing to give me those changes. You know what I'm saying? He And he made them. And then I I wasn't ready. Like, it's, this looks crooked, but y'all just, okay. So I'm going to hold y'all. Um, I wasn't ready. So when I when I got those changes, I started to feel like, I won't necessarily say suffocated, but I started to feel like I was like, oh wow, this is a little too much. You know what I mean? Like I was just like, oh, this is this is a lot right here. Like I don't know. And I wasn't, it's just because I genuinely wasn't ready. And then it came to the point to where it was confusing because it's like you asked for this shit. Like, this is what you asked for, this is what you wanted. This is this is I'm giving you literally what you asked for. And so I had to, I had to really and even, I'm not going to lie, y'all, even after we broke up, I still hadn't realized that, like, it didn't take me until literally, you know, up until now, a little while ago, 
that I realized what had happened. You know what I'm saying? I've been in a relationship where we both were, we both were, our feelings for each other were super strong and we both knew what we wanted for our futures and at the time we were looking at it and like okay yeah we fit like you know what i'm saying we fit future wise we fit you know and we started to plan oh it's starting to rain we started to plan our futures together and things and then it got to the point to where it was like we were only a few months in but our bond and like what we had was so powerful which was fine but we were boyfriend and girlfriend and we were living or starting to started to live our lives like we were married and it was a lot y'all it was a lot like for me for me personally like it started to get it started to get a little too much for me because i just felt like i know that this is somebody that i care about i know this is somebody that i love that i'm in love with and i enjoy our relationship so much but it was like I was genuinely starting to feel like I was starting to feel like I wasn't enough for the relationship because we had gotten so heavy. And I'm like, I ain't a wife. Like, I'm not, I can't, I'm not ready. I wasn't ready. We were starting to do things. That's what it was. We were starting to do things that, like, you would see a married couple doing, like, you know, um, I can't necessarily give examples. But we were it's just long story short like we were starting to do things that like you would do with your husband when y'all have created a family together and not even talking about kids but like y'all have just formed that family family bond with one another and um you know what i'm saying like we were we were on that level and it had just gotten to the point to where i was like okay we got to calm down a but like we were we were talking about moving in together and all that stuff which isn't a problem but it was just that like we were so early on into saying that we would move in together that it was just like we wasn't ready and even and even moving in like when people be moving in together early they don't really stop they don't mess it up that ain't really a that ain't really necessarily a bad thing if y'all have an understanding within y'all relationship you know what i'm saying like if y'all have an understanding of what y'all got going on what you need to do relationship wise and all that stuff that's not a bad thing but i think for us it's just that like i'm just real like when i love i love hard and i just begin so far into it you know what i'm saying and i just be like i'm gonna put my all into it or nothing and it's like it's okay to put your all into it but your all don't have to be you know what i'm saying like it's okay to put your all into it but i think there's different stages of putting your all like i'm gonna put my all into it as a girlfriend i'm gonna put my all into it as a fiance i'm gonna put my all into it as a wife like there's different there's different levels to it all and you just have to like figure out what level you at now if you if you right now at a level where you saying you a wife okay period i'm not saying this video by no means is to say that like you not a wife yet because if you feel like you is you a wife i said me that's why i make sure i put in the title i'm not I, i'm wife material not a wife yet i make sure i put i'm because i'm talking about me and then if it resonates with you and if you understand what i'm saying and you agree with it and it's to giving you an opportunity to do some self-reflection and understanding then that's amazing if you disagree you disagree and let's have a con let's have a discussion about it in the comments do you agree or disagree let me know let's have a discussion about it in the comments you know what i'm saying like how do y'all feel do you feel like you a wife yet or do you feel like you just wifey material right now and what's another question that we can have what's another um do you feel do you agree that there are different levels of treatment or different um expectations or whatever from a significant other or from yourself in in the level of like as a as a girlfriend and boyfriend or as a wife and husband like do you think that there's different levels of expectations and treatments um in those um uh, you, you understand what i'm saying categories um i hope i worded that right for y'all to understand 
But um, I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna try to end it out because it's raining and I need to focus. But so this is literally just a quick pop in from my phone, literally propped up on my laptop while I'm editing this unpopular opinion video. And I just wanted to say, first of all, this video was filmed a few weeks ago and um, I'm just now editing it and uploading it. Well, I'm editing it right now. Today's the 27th of December, if y'all care. And um, I'm because I have a video that I'm editing right uh, where I just finished editing and I'm about to post today so this video won't be posted until I think I want to do the 31st as if a way to like end it off on the the, the uh, ending off the year and starting the new year um because this actually is a good topic uh because I I talked about a lot of things that contributed to my growth and understanding of me as an individual personally in this video so I figured why not posted that day but back to the purpose of this little pop-in video i just wanted to make this video kind of as a way to also hold myself accountable since i'm going to be posting it and putting it out there um on national television i love saying it um but basically also i this is a new way of me kind of opening y'all up really into my personal life and um showing more of me on my channel because i really want to start doing that uh, well, I have been, but I want to get more into sh really showing y'all and like my journey, my journey spiritually, uh, my journey with God, my journey mentally, my journey physically, because I'm in the gym. So definitely going to be a video coming for that. Um, and my journey uh, emotionally. And so one main thing that I'm going to be doing in 2022, which is in relation to this video, is being single. I've said this before. I've said this before on my channel and it was one of not the seafood mukbang that I did recently, but I think probably the one that I did before that when I was by myself, um, I said that I wasn't going to be dating anybody. Um, and then I ended up getting in a pretty heavy relationship at the top of the year, which was top of this year. And, um, but this time around, and I also want to say that it doesn't matter how many times you say something, how many times I feel like y'all can hear my computer because it's starting to get hot. I feel like y'all can hear it. So I'm going to move my phone. Um, it doesn't matter how many times you tell yourself that you're finna do this or how many times you have to start over. It's about the fact that you started over. Um, and I that's another thing that I had to realize and stop judging myself or beating myself, my beating myself up over. Um was because I would get upset with myself for saying something or and like genuinely at least feeling like I meant it at the time and then not following through with it and then saying it again and you see what I'm saying but um yeah I've chosen to take on the journey of abstinence in 2022 because my main focus right now is me that's the word of 2022 me I it really hit me that like a lot of the things that I want from a man to be wine and dined or to be courted or to be catered to or like uh, treated a certain type of way or um, taken out on dates and stuff like that. Um, I allow <clears throat> like the guys that I've talked to in the past, not all of them. Don't get me wrong. Not all of them. Um, the reason why I wasn't getting those things is because I allowed them into my life without giving me those things. And then I expected them to give me those things after telling them. And like, yeah, even if I tell them that those are the things that I want, if I allow them into my life without starting off giving me those, you see what I'm saying? So my standards are just a little higher, but I also want to give that to myself. I want to wind and down myself. I want to cater to myself. I want to give myself those things. I want thing that I think I want to start doing is like, buying my buying myself flowers once a week or probably twice i mean once every two weeks because i think i'll be able to keep some flowers alive for two weeks it just depends when i get back no actually um that's something that i'm gonna start probably tomorrow i'm gonna go buy me a vase and buy me a um, bouquet of flowers and um put them up and i'm gonna start doing that so it can already be implemented this year because i've already started the gym so that'll be implemented this year and it carries over into next year uh i start well, I've already started reading my Bible, but I slacked off. But I start back reading my Bible every night, journaling about that. 
Um, I'm gonna do my morning meditations. I'm gonna start off by doing like five minute guided meditations on YouTube and go up in increments. Um, I journal whenever I want to, but I'm going to make sure it's a habit that I journal every Sunday because I want to finish the week off by expressing what I felt that week and getting that off of my chest so I don't bring it into the new week so I can start the new week off anew. Um, so that's something that I want to implement. I'm going to be documenting and talking to y'all about that process as things go along. Um, the struggles, the ups, the downs of it, the whatevers. So yeah, I decided that I wanted to make it, um, I wanted to put it in this video, like I said, to hold myself accountable, but to also, you never know, this might, somebody might also, one of y'all might be experiencing this journey or, um, you, I might inspire somebody. You never know. So whatever it is, I just want to tell my story. Like, I just want to share me on my channel. I want to make sure that I'm being the genuine me and not like somebody that I want to portray for social media or somebody that I want to portray to get ahead or somebody that I want to portray to go viral. I want to get the success by being my authentic self. Like I said, don't forget, we on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And when we get there, I am going to be doing a $200 cash app giveaway, okay? $200, four winners, $50 each. I think that we're um, maybe like 20s or so subscribers shy of 1,500. So if we can get to 2,000 or before the um, year ends, we only got 3,000 left, baby. I mean, if y'all keep it pushing, we can do 200. And baby, you never know what's coming when I get to 10. So... You never know what's coming when I get to 10K, baby. That's all I'm saying. So let's get these views up. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get more active on my channel for sure. My ideas and shit like that been popping. There we go, Richard. I'm the perfect time to put, put my wipes on. Um, I'm I'm am gonna be getting, but this is my promise. It's a video a week at least for sure. A video. Sorry for these terrible angles, y'all. It's a video a week for sure. Um, from now on. At least you may get some surprise uploads, you know, throughout the week or some shit like that. Like this video is probably gonna be a surprise upload or something. But um most definitely gonna be at least one a week. Cause I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get myself back into it. I took a much needed break and um I miss filming, I miss editing, I miss I miss y'all. So now that your girl is back, let's get it popping, let's get her views back up. Um let me know if y'all like these type of videos because, baby, one thing me and Megan do is stay talking about shit like this. Like, <laughs> we always got some shit to talk about. So, if it's some stuff that's, like, juicy for real and I can start bringing it to YouTube with my unpopular opinions. Because I think this is my first unpopular opinion. Um, so, if y'all like these type of videos, y'all like my view on it and we can, y'all like us having these open discussions in the comments and shit. I can keep this going. So, let me know. Um, what else? Don't forget, if you part of the nation, bitch, stay like that. And if you a part of the nation and ain't got your um, post notifications on, um, do that. Because why would you want to miss an upload? Um, make sure you like, comment, um, and well, I was going to say and subscribe, but you already the nation. So make sure you like, share this video, and comment on it and let me know what y'all feeling. Um, if you're not a part of the nation, you want to be a part of it. Like, I'm not going to question that. You want to be a part of it. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost you anything. And I don't even think that you're going to get a cramp in your finger when you do it. So go ahead and do that. Um, hit that uh, notification bell. Now, the notification bell is right next to the subscribe button. So honestly, if you catch a cramp, then you might need to sue YouTube. Because I don't really know how that would work. Like, because it's really not that hard. And the distance isn't far at all. So I don't know why y'all don't be like participating in that at all. It's giving a little lazy if you ask me. Um, make sure you like, share this video, comment on this video, and um, then you'll be a part of the nation. And you'll enter in a chance to, um, well, that's not necessarily entering you into the giveaway, but you turn on your post notifications, you can be notified once the giveaway drop, and then you will find out ways to enter into the giveaway. So I'll see it like that. But, um, I think that was it. Damn, do people not have umbrellas? Like, why do y'all not be getting umbrellas and y'all just be walking in the rain and walking in the rain? Like, we just not doing it for the same all the time. 
Um, hopefully I can find a parking spot. Ooh! Cause I'm a bad bitch. Savage. Hold on. I found a motherfucking parking spot. Right up here front and center. My name is this crooked ass car over here, baby. Shit. My name is Gary. That's probably why ain't nobody park right here because they ain't want to park by this crooked ass car. But guess what? Larisha never shy away from a challenge. That's a lot. It's plenty of challenges I probably shy away from. Cause I don't even fuck with him for real. Um, so that was it. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I said that already. So all I have to say is I love y'all nation. It's your girl Lala and I am signing out. <laughs>